going to show you how to create a billing plan. These can be used for scheduled payments, membership plans, and in-office payment plans. Once you log into CardPoint, click on the Virtual Terminal tab, select the Billing Plans tab, then select Add New Billing Plan. On this screen, you will enter the patient's information, or you can pull up a patient's saved profile by searching for their name in the search bar here. In this area, you will enter the patient's card information. It is best practice to keep two cards on file for each billing plan. If the patient would like the receipts emailed to them, be sure to check the email receipt option. Now we will set up the billing plan schedule. First, select whether the billing plan will be scheduled for daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, and then select the start date. For example, to make reconciling easier for you, you could have all of your billing plans run on the 1st and or the 15th of each month. Next, select whether the billing plan will end on a certain date, after a set number of payments, or not until canceled. The number of payments option is common for most monthly plans or in-office financing. The canceled option is best to set up reoccurring membership plans, whether monthly or annually. For this example, we are using the number of payments, which is what most offices will use. Select the number of payments and enter the total amount for each payment. This is calculated by taking the total balance divided by the number of payments. Once you enter the amount, the billing schedule preview will update on the right hand side. It will show you the total number of payments and the total billing amount. Remember to save the plan and have the patient sign off on the authorization form. We have an example available if you'd like to use ours as a template. You will be able to see all of your billing plans under the Billing Plan tab. Each one will list whether it's active, completed, or has been canceled. To see all of your scheduled payments, select the Scheduled Payments tab and clear the date. This will list out all of your scheduled transactions so you can post them into the patient's record in your dental software once they are paid. An alternative way to track payments is by going to the Reporting tab. In the Transaction Report, use the Front End Filter and select CardPoint Billing.